everyone, I'm Ubar Ringok, and welcome to Ubar Talks. This is where I talk or rant on about something that's on my mind while the game plays in the background. Today, it doesn't matter what I'm playing, is, well, I'm talking about YouTube itself today. So if you're a creator and you post on YouTube, you've probably heard about the changes coming to monetization. As if these... As if there need to be any more fucking changes. Oh, I normally don't care about swearing on my channel, but I do try to cut back some from, like, normal. Like, I don't care about swearing on my channel, but I do try to cut back the amount I actually swear. Being a construction worker, you kind of get used to swearing a lot, but today, since monetization is going to be dropping any crate under... What was it? Like, a, was it 4,000? 4, 400,000? Subs? Is that, is that the last one, or did they... Oh, again, um. Anyways, if you don't have a shit ton of subs, you no longer get monetized. So, why the fuck do I care if I curse? Now, I already don't get paid shit anyways. I mean, I only have... Uh, 53 subscribers at the time I'm writing the script. So, there's a 54. Was it 54 yesterday? Anyway, so I don't even make money on my videos anyways. Not really. If I do, it's like a penny and they don't even send it to me, so whatever. Which isn't going to stop me from making videos anyways. I still love making videos. Uh, I love posting them. It's, it's fun to me. And if it ever takes off as a career doing this, well then... Great! I'd love to know I'm making something that people are enjoying for whatever reason, but understand, I'm not pissed I'm not getting not paid from YouTube. I'm pissed because YouTube is nothing more than a fuck-up that's trying to burn its fucking self to the fucking ground. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll cut back a bit again. Look, since the Wall Street Journal, or as many YouTubers known as, go fuck yourself, you fucking fucks, and I'm quoting that here, went batshit insane over YouTube. Wait. No, wait. I. No. I'm getting ahead of myself, actually. I should explain this some. Uh. <clears throat> give some. Uh. Info. Or give some. The. For those of you not familiar, a bit of the background. Uh, okay, so many of you will have seen a PewDiePie, spelled Pew, die pie, but when it says it, it's PewDiePie. Uh, they'll have seen one of his videos pop up on their home screens when they log into YouTube, uh, even if they don't watch gaming videos or whatever it is he even does these days. Well, last year, PewDiePie made a series of mistakes on his channel with some failed jokes. And that's that's really what they were. They were jokes that just went so fucking bad. Uh, the most famous of which was him paying these guys who accept like $10 or however much you send uh, and use it to do whatever and will do whatever you ask within reason, not like, you know, cutting off their fucking hands or whatever, uh, and videotape it and send it to you. Uh, now this can be whatever, like for example, writing on a cardboard sign, Hitler was right, and dancing happily to it. Yeah, that's what he did. But in that same video, you see him absolutely horrified at the fact that they actually did it. He was expecting them, and he says in the video, to send a video of why they wouldn't, and, you know, just this whole fucking thing, and him just laughing about how it didn't work. But instead, they actually did it. And also in that video... And again, I've watched this because this was serious controversy for YouTube. Uh, he apologized profusely for it. I mean, and, and that goes for the other ones, too. Well, the Wall Street Journal, who I should point out has made it well known, they are against the upgrading formats, you know, like YouTube and Twitter and such, and converting to them. Uh, found out about the story, uh, and then blew it out of proportion to the upteenth degree, saying he had a history of this kind of shit, when he absolutely did not. In fact, the Wall Street Journal actually did the one thing as the press that they should never do, 
report and manufacture information for their own benefit. I know this is nothing new in major news media. I've seen CNN. But this was excessive. I mean, just appalling. Add in the fact that they then blackmailed, and I pretty much mean that too, other companies by saying they would write articles about how they allowed media the media on YouTube to have Muslim extremists and terrorist ads on their videos and stuff on YouTube or whatever and how YouTube was running those constantly also and saying if they didn't pull their ad revenue from YouTube uh, then they were gonna you know post all this and say all this about these companies that were you know so many companies like backed off from putting ads on YouTube because of the Wall Street Journal, forcing many creators to have to find other means of earning a wage, such as setting up Patreon accounts to have the money keep funneling in, because, well, this this is literally their life, and they don't have other means uh, available to them, or they're so far into this that if they literally just stop, that's it. Now, the Wall Street Journal are a bunch of cocksuckers. And I mean that with all the hate I can muster because only a bunch of ancient cocksucking assholes would go out of their way to fuck over so many people who make their money doing what they love doing and bringing joy to people with what they do solely because they refuse to update to adhere to the new forms of media. I mean, go fuck yourselves, Wall Street Journal. I still hope you motherfuckers go bankrupt and your building burns to the fucking ground. And when it does, I'll join the many people <clears throat> from YouTube who show up to you to pour salt on the fucking earth so nothing as vile as you can ever sprout forth again. But YouTube didn't respond well to the lost ad revenue. Uh, they never really figured shit out on that front. Now, of course, since then, many companies have come back to YouTube, despite the Wall Street Journal and everything else. You may not see any more Coca-Cola or Pepsi ads, or if you do, where did you see them? I haven't. Uh, but I've been seeing a good number of alcohol ads, actually. I've seen Bud Light on there. I've, I've seen Jim Bean ads. And I do love me some fine whiskey, so here's looking at all you fine makers of some bourbon. And while things aren't the same as they were before, many have managed to either recover or find ways to still continue making the content so many of us love, like Rob Dyke and his creepy channel, which... God bless you. I'm glad you're still out there making content, Rob. God bless. Uh, yeah, see, when all that shit happened with uh, Pewds, uh, Disney, who was a huge sponsor and everything, uh, pulled out too. Uh, and then YouTube went all kid-friendly, like they were trying to get Disney back. So stuff like that, like Rob Dyke, who does creepy or macabre stuff, or just anything that could be said is not kid friendly uh, shit like that and posting in the title of the description just a key word and there's a shit ton of them go look at the list it's fucking bullshit you can't post love in the title of your video you cannot use the word love in the title of your love is a word that gets your video demonetized so if I said, I love Pokemon, I am demonetized. Or I love Justin Bieber, demonetized. Like, does that make sense? I, I don't understand it. And God forbid you, you it's, it's fucking ridiculous. But now, YouTube has gone full retard on everyone. They are now saying that if you were under a certain number of subscribers, whatever money you did make is now gone. You don't get paid. <clears throat> and again, last I heard, the number was up around 400,000. It may have gone lower, I don't know. Probably not by much, if it did. And that's for the good money, let's just be clear. The kinds you can afford a decent rent on and still get groceries with a little left over. Maybe there's a minimum, but it's the kind that obviously discourages any new talent from 
even trying to make content or anything on YouTube now. And that's the heart of this discussion, that YouTube has basically killed anybody looking to break into this business for whatever reason. And again, I make no money at all, but my problem is for those with a couple thousand or so, and who are probably making money however much, and want to make a career out of this. This is basically YouTube just saying, fuck you, we've got the best now, we don't need or want anymore. This is the best. Look at Jack Septicai. No one will top him. Or Markiplier. Or Vanoss Gaming. PewDiePie is our crowning achievement. And that's some bullshit. A lot of people have been putting up their outrage over this. Even PewDiePie himself, the man with the most subscriptions in all of YouTube, still. Because. <sighs> He came down on this. I, I actually watched that video. He points out how this discourages new creators and everything, exactly as I am, and how many up-and-comers will basically be getting shut out because of this, and how many of the guys with, you know, only so many are suddenly going to lose their revenue. The people who started turning this into business because they had so many, and it was paying well enough, and now they're getting shut out too. And I agree, it's bullshit. As much as their we're kid friendly thing was, motherfuckers, I've seen you. I've seen your top 100 list, okay? Nicki Minaj, who shakes her huge ass in all the videos and wears skin tight outfits, that's one of them, okay? And she curses in her videos. Now let's take out any of the other, any pop star or rock star or Vivo or whatever channel, okay? I mean, that fucking really is shrinks the list. You should be amazed by how many there are. And, uh, let's be clear as well, a lot of these pop stars I'm talking about in their videos that I've seen, fucking Pitbull or whatever, they're not censored or anything. I hear them cursing their videos too, but I bet they're making ad revenue. But they're making revenue off that shit. But take them out, all of those, uh, music channels, now you have the video gamers and whatever else. Not quite sure what else hits up there uh, and no no news station is in the top 100 thank fucking god uh, I think the closest to CNN and that's still not in the top 100 at least last I checked it, it was last year but it's dropped since then thank god And looking at the remain list, I guarantee that the top ones, including Pewds, all swear in their videos, okay? Now, I, I know I've heard PewDiePie drop F-bombs in his videos. I mean, kid-friendly? Really? Fucking Markiplier, whom I'm also a subscriber to, I will mention, and I do love watching his videos. And I love his videos. He has toddlers watching his videos who dress up in his little shirts and everything. I remember the Wilfred Wharf stash kid for crying out loud. He must have been what, two years old when Mark met him? Cute little kid dressed up as Wharf stash and he loves Markiplier. He loves watching his videos. I probably think the parents don't know what the hell's on his videos, but the kid loves him. And you know what? <laughs> okay, again, the, the parents probably don't know and that's their problem and also their fault, but Still, kid friendly, really? And Mark says the F word for fuck's sake. It's not like oh, just when he gets no, 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 no. It is a regular thing, okay? Not true. Not all YouTubers curse. A fine example is Rhett and Linker. Uh, they're two really good examples. They, uh, I would put them as good friend, uh, family friendly viewing. Uh, I, I like watching Good Mythical Morning. Uh, I love their rap videos that they did, their little rap battle videos. They're they're good. They're good. I like them. They're they're the kind that you can put on a kids show. You can put on, on a little like Sprout or whatever, and no parent would say anything bad. You wouldn't have any parents say anything bad. It's just two guys. They never swear, or if they're swearing, they bleep it out, which is hardly ever. And they're, they're very good. I do enjoy watching them. Most of YouTube is not kid-friendly. I mean, and this new thing that's killing 
any chances any up and comers or people who have really started breaking into it uh, the chances of them I mean, god see this is why I'm trying to learn how to stream on Twitch I'd probably actually make it on Twitch too at least they aren't whatever YouTube is turned into thank god yes they have rules but it's not so fucking extreme but yeah that's basically it YouTube's going to hell I don't know if they'll recover but yeah whatever I'm still going to make videos because it's fun and I like to this doesn't affect me in the least because I wasn't getting paid anyways but I feel bad for the people who are going to be affected by this it's, it's not good it's not okay I don't know why YouTube is doing this like the kid friendly thing for Disney that was one thing and it was stupid and they've kinda let it go in the past couple months. And I say kinda with by I meaning very, very little. Again, love. If you put love in the description or the title, you get demonetized. I have love in one of my videos and it was immediately demonetized. It wasn't even posted yet. It was still waiting to process. And it got demonetized. I got a thing saying it got demonetized in my email. Make sense of that. When love, the word love. I, I mean, you guys, I'm not the only one who thinks this, right? This, I'm not the only one who thinks that's insane. That such a normal word could get, could get whatever you're making. Could basically say, no, you don't get make money off a video. Just a word. It's not like he's dropping the uh, F-bombs all over the place. It's not like he's... He said pussy in a child. No, he said love. Like, I don't get that. Oh, and here's the thing. So, there were a bunch of words... And you can go look up the list. But apparently there were words that weren't put on the list. That I don't know if they were forgotten or just YouTube didn't put them on there. Because, you know, gotta hide that shit. Uh, I don't know, but... I've seen postings where people post words that went on the list, and, and it's like, I got demonetized for this word. It said so. They, I've seen the screenshots. They post the screenshots proving, yes, this is the word. They used it. Here's why they're dem that's why they're demonetized. I, I, I don't get it. I just, I don't know. I do not know. That's all I got for today. So, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video of me just kind of, I don't know. It's, I, I just needed to say something about this whole thing, you know. Ever since I heard about it, I've been kind of mulling it over. I mean, it didn't make, it didn't do anything to me, so it, didn't, it doesn't affect me at all. I mean, I'm still going to go and work construction and fucking janitorial it this grocery store trying to earn a wage every fucking day but you know that's it's not it's not stopping me or anything but it is stopping others I didn't know the number until I saw PewDiePie's video you know first I was like good god that is insane but then I kind of sat there and thought about it some and I realized that that just hurts so many people think about those people who just finally started to grow and get started and now they're gonna be fucked when I thought about it, it just it pissed me off so here I am I'm making a video about it but anyways thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed if you like this and you want to see more feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications and check to make sure this is another thing that's happened recently is apparently you have to hit the notification button and then go into your settings to make sure it notifies you properly? I don't know. I saw this on a post on Twitter. I'm like, what? Because somebody's been having problems with this, with their subscribers in this. And I, I gotta look more into it. But, um, oh, like it matters. I have 53 subscribers. Well, I, 
look into it just so I know what I'm talking about, honestly. But, um, anyways, yeah, do all that, and then, um, if you want to let me know you liked the video, feel free to hit that, uh, like button, or leave a comment down below, or both, it's up to you. But thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all keep on gaming, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, this is gonna be fun. Guide as you go after it. The scout flies will hide once the fight breaks out. Don't forget that.